how gnss tamil nadu name is misused who is misusing the gnss tamil nadu name how to prevent further misuse and exploitation of gnss tamil nadu name and its funds let us examine these three issues briefly section 847 and section 8412 of the bylaws of gnss tamil nadu states that gnss tamil nadu can establish and run educational trust further section 1211 clearly states that the general body is the supreme authority that means the trust has to function under the supervision and control of gnss tamil nadu general body the financial statements of the trust revealing its activities has to be presented before the general body of gnss and approval has to be obtained but after the formation of the gnss tamil nadu welfare trust in 2016 its accounts were never presented before the agm this means it is a separate and independent entity having no connections whatsoever with gnss tamil nadu compounding the matter gnss tamil nadu membership funds had been illegally transferred to this private trust the trust members want the nayar community members and the public to think that it is an integral part of gnss tamil nadu therefore it is named as GNSS Tamil Nadu Welfare Trust to deceive Nayar caste members and the public dishonest governing body members of GNSS Tamil Nadu of which some are also members of the trust has put out an advertisement on 30th December 2017 in two leading Malayalam dailies this is the advertisement which appeared in Malayalam Manorama and Madhubhumi as per this advertisement Nayar's heritage village project is promoted by a private limited company which again is a separate entity set up for making profits will gnss and gnss tamil nadu be responsible for the investments made by anyone in this project on the basis of this advertisement the governing body members of gnss and gnss tamil nadu are bound to explain the relationship between gnss gnss tamil nadu and teerthavada vidyadiraja agro farm private limited further the chief office bearer of gnss tamil nadu must explain on what basis the project of a private limited company has been listed in the agenda of gnss tamil nadu agm given here is the agm notice for 2019 nayar business investment group nbig programs and nayar heritage village project which has no connection with gnss tamil nadu is listed in the agenda of gnss tamil nadu this is clear proof that the main office bearers are running the registered society of gnss tamil nadu in a arbitrary manner so who all are misusing and exploiting the name of gnss tamil nadu the swindlers and fraudsters in gnss tamil nadu governing body some of whom are members in the trust along with other trust members are trying to con the nayar community at large by abusing the name of gnss tamil nadu given here is the list of the members in the trust This list is from the first issue of GNSS Tamil Nadu magazine published in the month of October 2018. One can see here the names of eminent personalities of Chennai who also are prominent nayars from Chennai. What measures must be taken to prevent further abuse of GNSS Tamil Nadu name? 1. An extraordinary AGM of GNSS Tamil Nadu must be called for immediately. 2 the chief office bearers of gnss tamil nadu who had a role in all these misdeeds must own up their mistakes tender their apologies and relinquish their posts in the above meeting if they have any concern for the nayar community this is the least they can do chairman sri m shivadasan pillai president sri r k k pillai general secretary v shivashankaran and treasurer sri r mohan nayar cannot claim innocence and must necessarily apologize for tarnishing the image and thus weakening this global nayar organization 3 the trust must be prevented from using gnss tamil nadu name this is required since the above projects are planned to be executed under the cover of the trust and by the trust members 4 since the office premises is owned by the trust GNSS Tamil Nadu office must be shifted with immediate effect to another suitable premises. 
GNSS members from the Central Committee who abetted misuse of GNSS Tamil Nadu name and had become members of the trust must be recalled by the Central Committee in Delhi. The above measures must be taken immediately to restore the confidence of Tamil Nadu Nayas in GNSS, a global organization, and GNSS Tamil Nadu, its chapter or affiliate in Tamil Nadu. A GNSS Tamil Nadu member here, Jay Hind.